Hello, my name is Emily. I'm a product expert here at Tally, and today I'm going to be walking you through your end user webinar. We're going to start off on the purchases page. When you first log in, you're going to be taken to this page if you only have one organization associated with your email. If you have multiple organizations associated with your email, you'll be taken to your identity details page. I'll show you how to get there now. First, let's click on this drop down arrow here. Then choose Edit Your Account. Here you can see your name associated with your identity. You can see all of the email addresses associated with your identity. And you can change your password. You also have all of the accounts that are associated with your identity right here. Now let's launch into an account. Now that we're in our account, let's go over the seven different ways to enter an expense into Tally. Let's start with manual entry. First, click here. We can enter a merchant, choose a date, choose an expense category, enter attendees, enter reasons if we would like, and finally, enter an amount. There's our brand new expense tile. The next way to enter an expense into Tally is the drag and drop method. This method is only available for Google Chrome users and Mozilla Firefox users. Let's go ahead and minimize. Locate our receipt. Drag and drop. There's our new expense tile. The next way to enter an expense into Tally is via the attachment icon. Click here. Then locate your receipt. Select and hit open. There's our new expense. The next way to enter an expense into Tally is via the mileage button. Let's go ahead and click here. We can choose a date, enter a starting address, make sure to choose the drop down here. If we don't choose the drop down, this is what happens. Notice the distance does not calculate. Let's fix that. There we go. We now have a distance. If we would like, we can make this round trip and it'll automatically double. Then save. There's our new expense tile. The next way to enter an expense into Tally is via the email forwarding option. Make sure that you're signed in to one of your emails that's associated on your identity details page. Let's go to our email. Here you can see that we're sending this email to receipts at usetally.com. We can also send this to receipts at tally.com as well. If we have multiple organizations associated on our identity details page, we can determine which one this receipt will go to by putting the name here. You can see here that we have our receipt in the body of our email. Notice, we do not have it in the attachment. You can attach the receipt there as well, but you should only really do one or the other. Let's send. In a moment, we'll be able to see our new tally expense icon here. There it is. The next way to enter an expense into Tally is via the app. Now, we're not going to go really in depth into the app today, but if you would like more information, go ahead and check out our app webinar. The link is in the description. Okay, so let's log into our app. Now we're going to click the plus sign to add a new expense. Choose the camera. Make sure our image is nice and clear. Then choose save. In a moment, we'll be able to see our tile appear here.
The next way to enter an expense into Tally is via the credit card option. Click here. Choose one or more expenses. Then click Import Transactions. Voila! There they are! Now I'm going to show you all the different ways that you can edit or delete an expense from the Purchases page in Tally. Select your expense, or alternatively, you can go to this down arrow and choose Edit or Delete from there. You can also go up here and choose Edit or Delete. If you select more than one expense, the same options still appear. If you would like to mass edit, you can go ahead and enter any field here. I'm going to choose the merchant and choose target. Then hit save. Now you can see that the merchant for both expenses has been updated to target. Now we're going to go over the out of policy flag. If you scroll over, it'll say view policy. When you click, you'll get more information on the policy your expense is out of. Now let's go over the possible duplicates flag. To view all possible duplicates, we're going to go ahead and click the flag. Here we can choose to mark these as not duplicates or to merge. If we merge, it looks like this. Now if you need to merge two expenses that do not have the possible duplicates flag, you can still merge them by selecting both the expenses then hitting the Merge icon. Voila! One expense. If you have multiple organizations associated with your Identity Details page, you can transfer expenses between them. First, go down here. Then choose Transfer Expense. From here, we'll choose one of my other accounts. Then choose an organization to send this to. Then we'll hit Transfer. The expense has now been moved. Now let's copy an expense. Let's go to this drop down here, then choose Copy Expense. From here, we can choose a date. Let's choose today. Then hit Copy. There's our brand new expense. Now let's learn how to sort our expenses. First, go to the drop down here. We have a lot of different options for sorting your expenses, but for today, let's choose Reimbursables. There we go! To remove the filter, we'll just click here. And we're back to normal. Let's go over all the different views we have here in Tally. The view that we've been working in thus far is called the Tile View. In this view, we have a little preview of the receipt image. If you would like a more information-dense view, you can click here. This is the table view. As you can see, it does not have that receipt preview there. Let's go to the spreadsheet view. This view is really similar to the table view, except there's one big difference. If you would like, you can click directly into the field to edit the data. Hit Enter to go down one row. And hit Tab to go over one column. Now let's go into our Expense Reports page. Here you can see we have two separate expense reports. If we would like to move these expenses into the other expense reports, we have two options to do so. The first is via the drag and drop option. All you have to do is drag and drop. This is only available for Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. In our next option, all we have to do is select the expense, Choose a destination report, then hit move. Now you can see that our expense has now moved to the new report. Now let's run through editing and submitting a report. We'll go back to the expense reports page. If you see that you have any empty reports, you can go ahead and delete them by clicking right here. In this report, we can go ahead and give it a new name.
see who we're submitting our report to, and submit. If we would like to see a report, we can go ahead and click on the submitted page here. If we decide later on that we need to edit our expenses or delete or add any of them, we can go ahead and unsubmit. This will bring our report back to the unsubmitted expense reports page here. Further along in the process, if you ever want to see your approved or exported reports, you can click up here. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Emily, and as we like to say here at Tally, happy expense reporting.